Hey, welcome back to what we did. Welcome back to Mixed Up Mondays. Yes, that's right. This is about my open heart surgery and kind of that follow up. I haven't done anything, uh, you know, I haven't done any videos recently regarding the, the surgery or, you know, it's been since like February, I think it was. So let's get on with it. What I want to talk to you about today is the warfarin. That is my biggest challenge that I have seen now that it's been, it's been a year, you know, August 21st uh, of last year was when it happened. So dialing in the warfarin is definitely the biggest challenge. It is, it is up, it's down, it's in and it's out. I think there's a song about that. And it really is. I mean, it's been the biggest challenge. And, and the other downside of that is I get poked more than the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> it is just crazy. Uh, like, and, I, and nothing really changes. Here lately, just the other day, I went in, I had to get it tested. And dude, my level's like tanked. It was like 1.4 on the scale. It was supposed to be between 2 and 3, um, having a mechanical valve in the aortic position. And it was like, whoa, what is, why? You know, and they're asking me, oh, what'd you change? You forget some, you know, you forget a couple nights or something like that. I'm like, no, I've been, I've been on this, uh, on this rock solid for the year. I, I mean, yeah, I've missed one or two, but then I, I would take them. Um, so I haven't really missed any medications whatsoever. Fluke thing drops down. So then what do they do? Well, now they got to raise you up because according to the rules, they have to raise you then to meet, you know, get it back in the level. So hey, guess what, you get to go get poked on the arm again or finger, whichever way you want to do it, and check it out. Well, now, you know, it comes back up. It's like back in the, the mid twos, uh, up close to three. Before that, though, before it had dropped, it was actually up high, and like like three two or something like that. And I'm like, oh, my God, this stuff. And I've had it happen a couple of times where just these random, I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't figured it out yet, like, what's causing it to do it. But either way, that has been the biggest challenge. So like lately, like I said, I dropped, I like changed it. So like Wednesdays now, I take 15 milligrams. Every rest of the time, I take 10 milligrams. Then I got tested two weeks later. Everything looked good. And now I'm still on the, hey, let's do two more Wednesdays at 15. We'll see. Because I've been on 10 milligrams for like ever. But uh, anyway, so that's it. I want to show you now. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pop up the shirt just a little bit here. I'll just show you the show you the scar. Let you see you know kind of how it's healing here after a year. Hopefully you can see this. But there, there you go. It's looking pretty good. I think uh, overall, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, it's got a couple spots. The only thing, it's a little tender sometimes uh, in a couple areas. It's kind of weird, but. I've uh, been kind of getting back more into a little bit of some weight regimen type stuff and uh, it's actually feeling good. Muscles are feeling good. Everything's feeling good. Fingers, you know, my fingers are, are feeling eh, about the same as they have. They feel way better than what they did right after the surgery, but they still got a little bit of like rubbing sensation, like almost like a little numbness in there, but they work. So I'll, I'll go for that. Um... I don't think there was anything else. It was really more just the discussion about the warfarin. But everything else, dude, I mean, I, I walk, I can jog, I can, I can run around, play with kids, I can do all that stuff. I mean, I've been riding a bike to work. So, yeah, so everything everything's going really well there. So, just wanted to follow up. I appreciate you stopping by here to check this one out. I know it's not kind of our normal uh, camping or home improvement or whatever else, but I do appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for checking it out. And you know what? I'll uh, we'll fill you in a little bit later. If something changes, something crazy happens, I'll definitely let you know. But otherwise, I'll just plan another one later on, and we'll go from there. All right. Thanks. Take care. You know the oh, the dog had to walk out here seriously, and I wish you could have seen it. The door is open out here to come outside, and she came out, stuck her nose in the doorway backed around and then came out through the doggy door. I don't know why.